Hello students, I am Dr. Sujata. In today's lecture, we will discuss about finite difference approximations for ordinary differential equation as well as partial differential equations. Study finite difference approximations. First, we shall study about for uh, ordinary differential equations. Let f of x and its derivatives be single valued continuous functions of x. Then, by the Taylor series expansion, we will look at the Taylor series. We use that. The Taylor series expansion y of x plus h is equal to y of x plus h in y dash of x plus h squared by 2 factorial into y double dash of x plus h cube by 3 factorial into y triple dash of x and so on. Call this as equation 1. And y of x minus h is equal to y of x minus h into y dash of x plus h squared by 2 factorial into y double dash of x minus h cube by 3 factorial into y triple dash of x and so on. Call this as equation 2. Now, here on the h what we have considered is very small. So, that's why we will consider, we will neglect the h square and higher order terms. So, when you neglect those terms, we will write y dash of x. So, for very small H everything which is square and higher order terms this higher order means higher power terms from 1, this is equation 1, we can write, so we may write this uh, equation 1 as, we get it as we write it as y dash of x is equal to y of x plus h minus y of x divided by h. This is M1. So I call this as forward difference approximation. This is called forward difference approximation. Then from equation 2, same by neglecting the higher order terms. From equation 2, you can write y dash of x as y of x minus y of x minus h whole divided by h. So, this is called as backward difference approximation. We need to consider central difference. So, central difference is from 
equation subtracting equation 1 and 2 so y dash of x gives when you subtract these two this equation 1 and 2 then you will get y of this y dash of x this y dash of x as y of x plus h or minus y of x minus h when you subtract plus y minus x and minus y minus x will get cancelled so y of x plus h minus y of x minus h whole divided by h so I'll write it as wrong 1 minus 2 we get y dash of x as y of x plus h minus y of x minus h whole divided by h. This is called as central difference approximations. Now, put all three for the start. There it is. Now, for second order, to get second order, what we have to do in equation 1, we have to consider the terms of second. So, to get second order, final differences from 1, you can write what we have to do for second order, add equation 1 and 2. So, 1 plus 2 gives. Can you imagine these two? Y double dash of x is equal to y of x plus h minus 2 times of y of x plus y of x minus h whole divided by, sorry, whole divided by h squared. I will show you this equation 1. Here, when you consider these two equations to second order, so y double dash of x is this plus this, so y of x plus h plus y of x minus h, then y of x plus y of x and 2 times, uh, sorry, y of x plus h minus y uh, plus y of x minus h. So here y double dash of x, so it is equal to y of two times y of x. Now now we study the same thing for partial differential equations. So, for partial differential equations, alright, we will consider the function if u is f of x y as a function of two variables then the first variable that is dou u by dou x dou u by dou x is u x that is a notation u of x is equal to f of x plus h comma y minus f of x y whole divided by h and similarly dou u by dou y equal to u y because we are differentiating partial with respect to x and partial with respect to y. So here f of x comma y plus k minus f of x comma y whole divided by k. So, for partial derivatives, there are two forward approximations. So, 
forward difference approximations. So, next backward. So, do u by do x is equal to again u of x. So, it is f of x y minus f of x minus h comma y whole divided by h for difference in now it is a backward difference here we have to subtract h and backward difference for y that is dou u by dou y is equal to u y f of x y minus f of x comma y minus k whole divided by These two are back differences. No? Central difference. Central difference is do u by do x equal to u x f of x plus h sorry f of x plus h comma y of x plus h from y minus f of x comma sorry f of x minus h x plus h right? x minus h so it is x minus h from y divided by H. The same way, do u by do y equal to u of y f of x um, comma y plus k minus f of x comma y minus k whole divided by do k. These two are central differences these two are central differences as a, we wrote in the section one that is uh, second order for first uh, first order differential equation same here also we can write for second order partial derivatives for second order partial derivatives Second order PD is you can write one of PD for partial derivatives. You can write the equation as dou square u by dou x square is equal to we denoted by u x x. So f of x plus h comma y minus two times f of x y plus f of x minus h comma y all divided by h square. The same way, go square u by do y square is denoted by u y y. So it is f of x comma y plus k minus two times f of x y plus f of x comma y minus k whole divided by k square. So, these two are the second order derivative differences. So, in the next class, we will study notations for finite difference approximations. So, what are the notations we are going to take for the these partial derivatives. After that, we will solve the 
heat wave and laplace equations thank you